What's going on everybody and welcome back to another video. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Reggie Bryant. I am the author of The Wealth Journey and this channel is all about personal finance and personal growth. Today we're going to talk about something that you've probably heard about a lot, but you probably just didn't know what it was and how you can retire tax-free because of it. Now, most of us have full-time jobs, and most of us are 100% familiar with 401ks. And if you're not familiar with 401ks, it is your company's retirement plan for you, which means you contribute a certain amount of money per paycheck, and that does not get taxed going in. So the full amount, whatever percentage you chose of your paycheck, so let's say, for example, you chose 4% of your paycheck every time you get paid to go directly into your 401k. That is pre-tax money. So that money doesn't get taxed at all but as a result once you hit retirement age and you're ready to pull that money out of there you get hit with taxes and by the time you retire we really don't know how much is going to actually get deducted so you might have three four million or you might have one million or you might have like seven hundred or eight hundred thousand who knows money compounds over time which is the beautiful thing about investing but the harsh thing about 401ks and investing as a whole is you do get hit with taxes but there's another retirement account out there and another form of investing as a whole, which if you have a job is good for, if you don't have a job, like if you're an entrepreneur or you have your own business, it's also a good idea to have one of these as well. It's called a Roth IRA. Let's talk about it. So first of all, let's talk about the differences between a 401k and a Roth IRA, just so you understand the difference when I start saying both the names more regularly throughout this video. So 401k, max contribution, which means the maximum amount that you can possibly put in a 401k per year as of this year is $20,500. And that was just set this year. It used to be $19,500, but they upped it this year to $20,500. And I already said the rest of it earlier in this video. Basically, you know, the, the percentage that you choose goes out of your paycheck and into the 401k, and it's not taxed, but it gets taxed coming out. Now, the Roth IRA, on the other hand, you can only contribute a maximum of $6,000 a year unless you've hit the age of 50 years or older. In that case, you can contribute up to $7,000 per year. Now, I know that doesn't sound like a whole lot up front, especially when you compare it to that whopping maximum contribution of $20,500 for the 401k, but there are perks to it. And the reason that these two are capped is because they are tax advantaged retirement accounts. If you were to invest outside of these two types of accounts, like on an individual type of basis, the taxes would look differently than they do with your Roth IRA and with your 401k. I just want you to know that. Especially if you make big money on your individual investments and you cash them out, that then goes in as income and you then get taxed for it. So anyway, let's get into this. Your Roth IRA gets capped for most of you guys at $6,000 per year. I will also add this, there are income restrictions with Roth IRAs specifically, not 401ks, but with Roth IRAs, there are definitely caps with your income. So as of 2022, but in order to contribute the maximum amount of $6,000 for a Roth IRA specifically, you must be making under $144,000 as a single tax filer and under $214,000 if you're filing jointly as a married couple. That's if you want to contribute the maximum of that $6,000. If you make more than that, that number is definitely going to get lessened and lessened until you can't contribute anymore. But for most people watching this video, you are 100% going to be eligible. So I am talking to you. So in this case, you take money that has already been taxed, i.e. money from your job, and you throw it in your Roth IRA, and then it accumulates value just like any other investment you have will, like your 401k. And by the time you hit retirement age and you pull it out, that money is not going to be taxed at all because it was already taxed going into your account. You get what I'm saying? So it's actually pretty cool. Now, let's address something that you've probably been wondering this entire video. Um, why is it worth it if I'm only able to contribute a maximum of $6,000 a year? Well, you have a lot more freedom with your Roth IRA. Like you have direct control over what goes in your Roth IRA. Your 401k, I guarantee you, you can't even tell me exactly what you're invested in within your 401k because 401ks are very much allocated by someone else. Like you can choose how aggressive or moderate or how conservative you want to be with your account. But all in all, you don't really have a lot of control or a lot of choices to choose from with your 401k. And I looked inside of a 401k the other day 
and usually when you look inside of your 401k, it'll say like a fund, like whatever your company is, like PRSP or something SP or some acronym, something RSIP, and it basically stands for Retirement Savings Plan. That's why you're going to see the R and the SPs all the time. But the bottom line is once you actually look into these funds and you see, you can break it down on the internet. You can actually just Google what holdings are inside of and then you enter the fund there. That's free game, by the way. It breaks it down. It shows you what's in the funds and you'll see more acronyms up in there. Like you don't even know what they mean. So then you got to go to another website. Okay, well, what's in this fund? And then eventually you get down to, okay, we have Microsoft, Apple and all these other things in it, right? You don't choose none of that. You don't choose which specific funds are in your 401k. You can get it changed and have someone change it for you, but you don't have that much freedom over your 401k when you compare it to the amazingness of Roth IRAs. And I say that specifically because you're typically going to be limited by the mutual funds that were selected by the investment committee. But when it comes to Roth IRA, you have but when it comes to Roth IRAs, you have an unlimited selection. You can choose whichever stocks, whichever mutual funds, whichever index. You can do whatever you want to do. You don't really have limitations like that. Therefore, you can choose more aggressive growth strategies within that, which, of course, you only do your own research for. But I'm saying that $6,000 can actually go a long way if you choose the correct things to go in there at the correct times. And you can get that type of growth over you know, the next few decades. And then when it's time to take it all out, you don't even have to worry about getting taxed for it. So imagine if you start this young, like as soon as you start working, like at 21 years old, like I wish I did. I'm 27 now and I didn't start my Roth IRA until I was like 23, which is fine. That's only two years later. But like the earlier you start, the better and the more your money is going to grow, the longer you have it in the market. That's just how that works. And so if you can have your money in the market for the longest amount of time possible while also not getting taxed, that right there is a winner. And so there's an easy way to do this without having to do a ton of research, without having to you know, study stocks all day like I like to do, but I'm a nerd. You know what I'm saying? Everybody doesn't just have the time to just do that all day and then learn and then read. And the stuff gets pretty boring after a while, to be perfectly honest with you. I can make it 100% easy for you, though. If you just invest in an ETF, like, say, VOO or VTI, and this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I do know what the heck I'm talking about, though. But... People have retired in VOO by itself just within their Roth IRA. And that is stronger than most 401ks out there. Just investing in that alone, $6,000 in that alone. Because you have to think about this. If you have $6,000 invested in one type of fund, you're going to have more opportunity to grow your money. Now, if you throw like 20 different companies and then 20 different funds in your Roth IRA, which you can do if you want to, but if you do it, you're not going to really maximize the amount that your money can grow. Like you got to think you're putting in less money in this. So I'm the way I thought about it was I'm going to go a little more aggressive with mine, but that's because I'm younger. So you have to figure out what's best for you, how old you are. And you can also consult with a financial advisor about this. But in my specific Roth IRA, I've had VOO and VTI because I love both of those funds and they have my favorite companies in them. Like they have Apple, Microsoft, Nvidia, Tesla, Adobe, United Health, like they have all, I just know them off the top of my head. This is how often I look at them. But those are easy ways. Now, are those the only two things that are within my Roth IRA? No, they're, they're not. I also have some, you know, pretty high level companies in there as well. But if you didn't want to learn about stocks and you didn't want to go through all the trouble, you could literally just invest in those two within your Roth IRA and you would be looking just fine by the time you hit retirement age. And right now we're in a recession, so prices are lower. So technically, the more money that you put in a fund, as long as it's a good fund or any stock, as long as it's a good stock, then something that used to be $400 might be on sale right now for $100, which means you can get more for your money, which means it's going to grow dramatically more than it would if you bought it at like a normal price. Hey, this is Future Reggie live from the editing booth. You know what I'm saying? I forgot to mention this. So real quick, we're going to go over the apps you can actually access a Roth IRA on. And these apps are housed by brokerages. So we have Vanguard, we have Fidelity, M1 Finance, TD Ameritrade. Those are just a few apps that you can use to access a Roth IRA, but do your research. There's plenty more and they're super easy to set up. Maybe I'll make a video in the future of how to set up specific Roth IRAs. Just saying, I don't want to get 
too, too deep in that because I don't want to like overwhelm you with information. I do realize with my investment videos, I kind of put like a ton of information in there that like you really have to watch the video several times over. I just want to break down the difference between a 401k and a Roth IRA. And then you're probably thinking right now, well, which, which one do I choose? I have both. And I think you should have both too if you can afford to put money in both. Um, that, that's what I think because you, cause you get the best of both worlds. Because the security of the 401k being that it's several funds within a fund, so it's super secure. You notice 401ks, they don't really grow as, uh, I guess, violently as the funds that I was just talking about. But they do provide that security, so they don't dip nearly as much either. So you have that because they, they're balanced with stocks and with bonds. And you do have a little control over that because you can you can judge how aggressive you want it to be because the more aggressive you're going to choose is going to be how much more stocks are in there and the more you know moderate to conservative you want it you want it to be and the more moderate to conservative that you want it to be the more it's going to be bonds so that's how it's going to balance out your portfolio for you and the older you get they're going to typically have more bonds in there than stocks at least that's what they're going to advise that you do how do i feel about that stocks all the way but that's another story for another day. But anyway, you get the security there, you get the stability there, and you also get to contribute more money there. And it doesn't get taxed going in, so that means it's going to compound more over time than it would if it were if it were taxed. Obviously, you're buying less of what you're getting, so it's not going to be able to grow as much if it gets taxed already. But because a 401k doesn't get taxed as the money's going in, that gives you an advantage. Your money gets to grow a lot. And then by the time you get, uh, and by the time you get to take it out, yeah, it gets taxed, but you know good and well, like that money grew more, so you can afford to take more of a tax cut on that. Whereas the Roth IRA, it sucks that you get tax going in, but it's amazing that you don't get tax going out because by the time you hit retirement age, you don't really know how taxes are going to hit you. The economy could be completely different by then, in a good or a bad way. We really don't know. We hope it's for the good, but we don't know. So a Roth IRA is kind of like a safe haven in that way. But also by having that bigger realm of control, which is like an endless realm of control, you can choose whatever it is that you want. You can do as much research and consult with as many people as you want and figure out how you really want to do this. You can watch as many YouTube videos as you want and really figure out how you want to allocate this. You'll And once you have the information and you feel confident, you can just let that money sit and not even look at it. In the next 20, 30, 40 years, you'll be a very happy human being. Just saying. But put them both together, that right there is how you do it because most people don't even know about Roth IRAs. And most people don't even invest in their 401k. So if you put both together, that's nasty. That right there is going to get you returns in both ways. And you're diversifying your investments. But yeah, that's how you do it. Like That is how average people, so to speak, any everyday person can become a millionaire. You can do it with 401k by itself or Roth IRA by itself, but why would you do that if you had the buying power to do both? If you have the buying power to do both, do both. And some jobs don't offer 401ks or 403bs. So if that's the case, you want to definitely go with Roth IRAs. You know what I mean? And if you have both options, I would do 401k first. And as you get more money, then start to put some of the other money into your Roth IRA. That's how I would do it. But that's just how I think, though. You have to make your own decisions at the end of the day. And um, and you also need to do your own research at the end of the day to make sure because you're ultimately responsible. I know what I'm talking about. I'm the money guy. I definitely have over 200 videos on this channel at this point about personal finances, more than just investing, but saving money, building other streams of income and all that fun stuff. But at the end of the day, you've got to make your own decision for you. I can lead and guide you. But I want you to feel good about your decision at the end of the day. So I think you need to think critically about your own financial situation and then do your research and then come back to your financial situation and really think it through and then make a decision. That's what I think you should do. But anyway, if you want to learn more about saving money, about investing and things of that nature, I wrote a whole book, guys, on personal finances. You know what I'm saying? I'm extremely proud of it. That's why I always start my videos by saying I'm the author of The Wealth Journey because I'm extremely proud of that book. I'm extremely proud of how it's doing, and I just want it to reach more people because the more people that get that book in their hands are going to learn the hard lessons that I had to learn like while I was in the grind of it all. When I was at the lowest of the low, 
as far as like self-esteem, as far as like confidence and knowing how to operate within the real world and getting out on my own and moving out and understanding the cost of living and understanding how to save and how to budget and how to get out of debt and how to invest and how to make my money work for me and how to build other streams of income. I put all of that up in that book, but it's in a very entertaining way. It's in a story format. And you can really get through that book inside of like a weekend because it's because it's a pretty quick read and I made it entertaining and I made it real like I put my real emotions and feelings into that book and I really paint a picture of how I felt and where I was at in that book and it lets you see that like everybody's not perfect like you might see some videos on YouTube and feel like the person you're watching is like really something special or like they never had to go through nothing that's not the case for me like in my book I tell it all I tell you guys how I felt what I did uh, what I did about my situation uh, how I second guess and doubted myself and things of that nature but I also tell you how to build wealth from scratch and I even tell you exactly what specific companies are good companies to invest in I talk about specific funds that are good to invest in I give you their return rates I give you since their inception which is since their existence how they've performed and why I'm so confident in them and why I'm invested in them myself. Like I go through all that. I even tell you how to interview for jobs. I tell you how to get six figure earning jobs because I tell you how to do things that I've done myself. I do not hold back in that book. I'm extremely proud of it. So if you want to learn more about that stuff, check out my book. Quick read, pretty low price point for the value that you're getting. It's an ebook and paperback format. And um, I think you're really, really, really going to like it. Audio book is coming out soon and hardcover is coming out very, very soon. So stay tuned for that. I'm also working on a course for you guys. So if, if you want to learn more from me and you want to learn in a more, I guess, specific type of setting where it's me teaching you directly how to get better with a specific area of your finances where you have the biggest pain points in, let me know. Set up a call with me and we can talk about what you want in a course from me. I've done it before and those calls have been extremely valuable and they've helped me help you guys more. So I am working on a course that will be coming out soon. But right now, I need to know what you need from me. But that guys is how you retire tax free. So if you enjoyed this video, leave a like on this video, hit subscribe, follow me on Instagram, hit the links below. I have some more information like information to my website, other videos you might wanna see, stuff like that, stuff that is going to help you going forward. But anyway, Thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Reggie Bryant, and this channel is all about personal finance and personal growth so you can control you, control your finances, and control your life. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.